What's up, y'all? I'm trying to find us. Let's see. Where's the live chat? There we go. <clears throat> okay. Y'all, what's going on? It is Thursday. Let's see. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Y'all, so this is a question that I think all of us get all the time is how do you choose colors or how do you do or what made you choose those colors y'all sometimes it's pretty simple and sometimes it can be a little bit harder you know like choosing a sign like this that says home um is a little bit more neutral so you can really use any color combination with this so you can use um white and browns and creams and burlaps um I've done moss green with burlap, purples, reds, blues, just about any color can go with something neutral like this. Now this is AP8311. It is in stock at shoplikejordan.com. I just looked, it is in stock. Y'all, if you didn't get the text message, um, y'all need to sign up for those alerts because yesterday they sent out a text message saying that the warehouse had unloaded 28 pallets of stuff. 28 pallets of goodies, okay? One of those goodies being the... <clears throat> um, Y'all, I love these faux burlap rolls. And I'm, I, I think I want to order a new set of the one and a half inch because I feel like I have less of the one and a half inch than the two and a half inch. But of those faux burlap rolls, there's 24 rolls. I know it's over $300, but y'all, it's the best bang for your buck. Y'all, I've paid off those those boxes that I bought tenfold, per like, period. So, this is the SKU I have, RC500024, okay? Those are for the um, faux burlap 50-yard rolls, and those are probably my favorite rolls, y'all. I use those a lot, okay? So, getting back to choosing colors... Y'all, sometimes it's right in the bush. It is right in the bush. I got this at Michael's. This is part of their summer collection. But it's got yellow sunflowers, red geraniums, and little blue filler flowers. Okay? So sometimes it's all in the bush. So this, to me, screamed um, country. Like, not, not farmhouse. But um, more country, as you know, I always think of like a, a house, a house with a wraparound porch and there's rocking chairs and they have a table out there and it's got what color print of tablecloth? The red and white um, picnic print. So that's what made me choose that. So I was like, okay. And you know what? I knew this sign is kind of neutral. Look how perfect that goes together. It's kind of rustic-y um, and neutral, so we we're going to combine those two for sure. Then I chose some yellow. Even though my yellow isn't the um, co same color as this, it's still a pretty yellow, so I'm going to use that. A s one and a half inch of that picnic pattern. And then I chose um, seven eighths inch ribbon and burlap and in that um, royal blue. To bring in that blue okay and then I was like you know what I want to add in maybe some poppies some red poppies and some white geraniums look how pretty that color combination goes together y'all and the white is really gonna stand out alongside the um, yellow and the red and the blue okay so y'all look how perfect that goes together. So let's see if I can get a nice um, stack of ribbons. But y'all look how pretty that all looks together. OK. 
Okay. And then I just chose two stems of greenery. I'm just gonna use these two stems for my base. And this is one, three, four, five, one. One, three, four, five, one, SP28. Okay. So I have already, I was gonna use this for a previous project. So I did use the mounting squares on this. So they're already on there. Um, so I'm gonna tie my sign to my wreath. This wreath is a, let's see, put it on. I'm gonna say this is a 14 inch oval grapevine. Now the way they measure oval grapevines, y'all, is from this end to this end. So if it's 14 inches, it's usually from this end to the right to the left, left to the right. It's usually never from the top to the bottom. So this one is 14 inches by 22 inches. And I want this up in the top of my wreath just like this because I want all my folds and my ribbon down here. What is up y'all? Y'all remember I am not going to be live tomorrow Friday the 13th here on YouTube. I want to tell y'all that before y'all get worried. The lady that cuts my hair could only fit me in at 11.15 tomorrow. So I'm like, ugh. And I really need a haircut before I go to New Orleans because it's probably hot and muggy in New Orleans and I I don't deal very well with that. <coughs> okay. So just attaching that in. So now we've attached our sign. I ha like I said, I had already used, I had planned on using that sign on another project and I decided to go against it. So I went with another sign, but this one right here is available. It is AP 8311, AP 8311. And if you type in AP8311 at shoplikejordan.com, there's a few other options. There's like a gray um, washed out, like a whitewashed version of this, which is also really, really pretty. Um, so there are a few options. I think there's another one that says like home is where the heart is. So yeah, we are going to make um, a bow. I'm going to make a seven inch tail first. 10 inches, two 10 inch loops. Actually, no, we're gonna do three. Okay, Y'all, I can tell someone cleaned my work area a little bit. Because some stuff's not in the place where I had it. Okay. <clears throat> so now this one's going to go up. So I'm going to put this ribbon tail up. Because you'll see I've got one and then two. So this one I want to come back and make my one. One. And then my two, my number two. Okay. So we have our two burlap on one side with one burlap on one side, then two blue on one side with one blue on the other side. 
So just like that. Now we're going to come in with our one and a half inch red and white. <clears throat> make our tail. Yeah, I'm going to make um, four loops of this. And I need those at 11 inches. Yes. The first set of loops were all 10 inches. I know I did that blue one and I didn't measure, but I eyeballed it. But they're 10 inches. Good morning, y'all. Okay. So that's one thing that I always get asked a lot, like, you know, especially like, how did you choose those colors? What made you choose those? Y'all, sometimes it's a sign. Sometimes it's maybe a ribbon that I'm using. Um, it could be a number of things, but, um, that's usually what I do. So I'll choose like a neutral sign or maybe, you know, like I have this home of the free because of the brave sign. So y'all that's patriotic. It's red, white, and blue. You can't go wrong with red, white, and blue. Um, I would definitely choose a stripe pattern of blue with stars or maybe red with stars um, blue, solid blue ribbon. I would even throw in maybe like a polka dot or, um, whatever, and maybe like a patriotic flag ribbon. So that's going to complete that sign. And that's going to be my choices for that, um, sign. And sometimes, like I said, it's, it's in a flowering bush like this. You know, a lot of, um, craft stores, and a lot of um, stores do carry some of these pre-made um, bushes. Michael's by far for me um, has some of the prettier bushes. So I do like to shop at Michael's. I've always liked shopping at Michael's for their florals just because I feel like I their florals are prettier. So now we're moving on up to 12 inches. Pinch and twist. And y'all, I only want one loop of that yellow. Coming back through. Measuring out my 12 inches. Making sure I've got all of my ribbons together. Now we're going to just cinch that. But before I cinch it all the way um, shut, I want to manipulate my tails and my loops to go the direction I want them to go. Perfect. So y'all know, like I said the other day, you know, we are live here on YouTube at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, um, Tuesday through Friday, unless something happens. Remember, Friday the 13th, um, March, not March, May 13th, 2022, I won't be live, y'all. I, I do have a hair appointment. I'm going to get my ears lowered. Okay. So... I want my bow right here in the bottom um, left-hand corner because I want my florals to come up and then come down and kind of um, caress the bottom of this grapevine. Okay. 
so I'm going to just trim that. I added that in to my grapevine. Kind of going to maneuver it around just a little bit. Okay, now we're going to dovetail our ribbons. I like dovetailing my ribbons once it's on the wreath. I don't dovetail my 7 8 inch ribbons. They're a little too small for there to be a dovetail on them, in my opinion. Some of y'all are finally catching me live. Okay, so let's see. Now remember also next week we do have our workshop so I'm not sure how the schedule is going to be next week. Okay, I will still be live next Tuesday here on YouTube for sure. Um, but the rest of the week I'm not sure about. Okay, so y'all look how pretty that bow looks. I definitely need to trim that tail I think. But I'm going to leave it long just in case my florals stick out too much and that way it will blend in. If it's um, if that's probably the right link, okay. So just like that, now we're gonna come in with our um, eucalyptus stem, and I chose this one because it's nice and full. Good morning, y'all. It's a nice full um, stem. Want to make sure you manipulate all of those pieces of eucalyptus. This is, it says eucalyptus, but I think it looks more like a boxwood. Yeah, it says eucalyptus spray, but to me it looks more like a boxwood. And that's okay. So I am going to have to cut this down into two pieces. So we're going to put this stem first, the lower portion of that stem first into our wreath. Okay, I'm going to come up right back behind that bow. And then we're going to start manipulating some of that greenery around that bow, okay? Okay, so this was that top portion of that um, stem, and I needed it to be a little bit shorter, so that's why I trimmed it off, because I need to tuck this back up behind that first piece that I stuck in there. Okay, so now making that nice and full looking, just like that. And now we're gonna come back with the other stem of greenery. I wanna do the same thing, we're gonna cut it into two pieces. and manipulating all that eucalyptus even though I'm telling y'all it looks like boxwood to me but they say it's eucalyptus okay so I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a bend okay so you'll see there's a 
bend right in that stem. Coming back underneath that bow, stick that right in there. And once again, just manipulating some of that. Oh, no, that went under the. I need that to go underneath the bow. There we go. So we're going to manipulate some of that greenery to go around that bow. That way that bow looks like it's just nestled right in there. It's not sticking out like a sore thumb. And then we're going to come in with our second piece that we cut off of that stem. Okay, so that's what we should have so far. That greenery is covering up that sign just a little bit, but we're gonna make that work. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and trim our entire bush of this. This one, like I said, did come from Michael's. The SKU is 10686937. Okay, 10686937. So I want to push those up and I'm going to come down all the way to the bottom of that just so I know that I have enough length on that stem okay and some of these are longer so these are definitely longer than these so we're going to save those and then these are our shorter stems yeah and if <clears throat> so it's one thing that I've noticed um, sometimes with stems. Some stems, like when you're cutting that, so pretend this is your stem with the flower on it. Y'all, don't cut right underneath that, that head of the flower. So let's say your flower is right here. Don't cut right there where your stem is that long because then that's really just letting it sit right on top of that grapevine. Y'all, you want your stems to have some length to them, just like on this one. Like, you see how long? So from top to bottom of that stem, look how long that stem is. Okay? This allows me to work my stem into my grapevine and manipulate it. If I needed to bend it a certain direction, I can. Um, with When you cut your stem only that much off of the flower, I mean, imagine you working with that stem right there you have nothing to work with, okay? So just be mindful when you're working with your stems that you want um, some length on them. Okay? Exhibit A. I am gonna trim this one. We're going to kind of start working in a triangle motion. Fill in with a blue. Peggy said she bought six bunches of that same um, bush. 
Y'all, that's a really great bush. Even though I personally don't like the heads of the sunflowers, they're still fine, y'all. They're all together. So it really gave me a great option, um, color choices, because that I wanted to make sure I used all those colors that were in that bush. Okay, so... The other thing too, when you're gluing y'all, you only want about the first two, three inches worth of glue on that stem. Don't glue all the way up to the head of the flower. But you see, I stuck that stem in and there's still some length to it, but it a, allows me to manipulate that sunflower where I want it to go. About the first two, three inches of it. And you know, like I see this wreath and I'm like, this is actually looking already really, really pretty. And there's not a lot of product in it, y'all. Look how pretty that looks. And there's not a lot of product in there. Now I will see, okay, so looking in the camera, I can see it right here. I've got one sunflower here, one here. So I want to complete the triangle. I want to put one right down here. I still have three pieces left. So let's see, I want a blue stem coming out on that side. Tanette, my glue gun it took about 30 minutes to warm up today. So I do have some left over. I'm gonna go ahead and add a gera red geranium coming up at the top. Coming up at the top by that um, sunflower. One, two, one, two, three. I do have another piece. I want to come up back beside that bow. Okay. Beside that bow. One, two, three. And then you know. Even though I only have that many geraniums, but I've completed the triangle. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Okay. So now, let's add some of these white um, geraniums. I'm not going to add a lot. But I definitely want to add these in. I think it's going to be that nice... Um, pop of color not so much pop of color but it's going to give um they're going to definitely stand out they're going to stand out in the crowd Geraniums remind me of um, 
hydrangeas. So, and I love hydrangeas, so I think that's why I like the hydra the geraniums as well. So we're going to add another sunflower coming right back on the bottom of this. This is the last of that bush that I had. Yo, you could definitely use a rooster sign for sure on this. Um... You could also even use a chicken sign if you have one. Okay. So I have two of these left. And we're going to go ahead and use them. back down back behind this and then one up here back behind that sign perfect Okay, so y'all look how pretty that looks. Oh, left the price tag on there. Y'all don't leave your price tags on your flowers. Okay. Nothing wild or crazy, but it's a nice um wreath and y'all we use that entire bush of that um sunflower geranium and blue mix now i do know the seasons always change so um always just keep a lookout for those um pre-mixed bushes y'all those really do help you a lot if you're struggling with what you want to use or what flowers go with what flowers that's going to help you a lot like on that stem on that bush there was red geraniums, yellow sunflowers, and this little blue flower. Okay. And then I just chose a neutral sign. But y'all, we've already said, someone said that they had a rooster sign, um, a chicken sign, maybe one. If you had like a little farm, um, a barn, a red barn. I know there's a red barn sign as well. Y'all imagine that right there. Definitely farmhouse, a cow sign. Yo, I love cows. I love cows. My mom doesn't like that I like cows. But I like the cows. I like cows and sunflowers, and she doesn't like cows, and she doesn't like sunflowers. That's probably why I like them. Okay. And even if we didn't want to put the sign on, you didn't have to. You could definitely not include a sign, but still have a really pretty wreath. Okay, so I'm not going to add the poppies. I think it's just too much red on this. But, y'all, we started off with that, um, what is it, 16-inch grapevine or 14-inch grapevine? 14-inch grapevine, 14 by 22 grapevine. We added, excuse me, we added in our sign, made our bow, attached our bow, Added in our greenery, then we added in our full bush of the um, sunflower, geranium, and bl little blue flower mix, and then our white geraniums, okay? So y'all, that was only two greenery stems and two bushes. So you don't really need a lot to make a pretty wreath. Now I will tell you what does help though, 
is if your greenery stem offers a lot of coverage. Like that eucalyptus stem did offer a lot of coverage for me. Okay. So y'all, that is all I have for y'all. Now remember, tomorrow, May 13th, 2022, I will not be live here on YouTube. Um, I do have an appointment, so I will only see y'all if you're in the creative coaching group. I will still be live tomorrow at 2. I'll be live in the creative coaching group at 2 today. Um, y'all, if you're not a member of the creative coaching group, y'all, I can't tell y'all enough. Like, that group is amazing. I've spoiled them all week long. I've taken my 2 o'clock time slot that I usually do on the public page. And I've been in there every day creating something with them. And today we're doing a... What did I do with it? It's somewhere around here. We are doing... I don't remember if y'all saw the patriotic swag that was standing right here. It's hanging here. We're going to do that today in the creative coaching group. Okay. So... They've gotten really spoiled with me this week. But y'all, if you're thinking, like, these tutorials here on Facebook or on YouTube, they're not as detailed as our creative coaching ones. Um, the creative coaching group ones, those tutorials are sometimes over an hour, two hours. If you're male, sometimes even three <laughs> um, hours long. But we really go in depth why we chose what we did, where we're putting it, why we're putting it where we are. And y'all can check out all of that information at creativecoachjordan.com and if you don't want to bite the bullet yet on joining the creative coaching group y'all we do have a workshop next week which we do our workshops the exact same way we do our creative coaching the creative coaching and workshops are tied in together but you still get all the same in-depth instruction you get recipe cards you you're going to get all of that during the workshop okay um you've got bonuses as well but if you just want a taste of what the Creative Coaching Group is, but you don't want to bite that bullet yet, y'all check out creativecoachjordan.com. Scroll down. At the bottom, there is a um, Backyard Barbecue Workshop box. Click on that. It'll take give you all the information you need for that. If you feel like joining, it is $40. Um, it's a one-time fee. But y'all, it gives you a taste of what we do in our Creative Coaching Group. And if you feel like that's maybe the right um thing for you then you can join the creative coaching group afterwards but y'all you might want to check it out because i know i'm doing something all of your creative coaches are doing something i think our balloon guy marcus is going to do something as well we've got bonuses for the workshop and that is all happening next week next thursday friday and saturday so y'all you don't want to miss it i'm super excited i'm going to be around my um, friends next week. So that's gonna be really great. Even though they're all at Mastermind right now, um, I haven't seen them since, what was it, March? Yeah, I haven't seen them since March. So I'll be really excited to see them. So y'all, you can check out all the information at creativecoachjordan.com. Remember, we are live here on YouTube um, Tuesday through Friday, unless something happens at 11 a.m. So y'all make sure you um, subscribe to the channel, get those notifications set up. And y'all, I think that's all I have for y'all today. And I will 